Hi, I'm going to try to make this program. Let me get this started. All right, so I just started recording the screen on my laptop. I don't, I don't need this for this. That's for that's what I I listen to videos and watch videos with that using that my headset and uh, but anyway so I started this pro you know recording the screen on here on my lap laptop and I'm going to try to merge the video on the phone with uh, you know make the video on. And to use KDN Live to merge the f video on the phone with the video on the screen. You know, I kind of, I'm pretty skeptical about whether this is going to work, but I'm trying it. So I just wanted to, you know, show you that my, this Linux, it's just absolutely gorgeous. This is Kubuntu. I believe it's 20, 20.10. And um, it's really beautiful. I really like it. I, I, what I, one of the things I've decided the next time the long-term edition rolls around in 2104, I, no, it's 2204, I'm going to sign up for that and keep it because I don't want to have, you know, I, I don't want to spend all this time getting this thing that looks so beautiful and then have to change it, you know. Because this is not stock. I, I, I did a lot of work to get this to look like this. And I really like it. This is my panel down here. And it's got, I see I got some updates that are available. Here's, and here's my four workstations, works desktops. This is number one, which is the one I'm on right here. Here's the simple screen recorder. This one over here is my, my file manager, Crusader, and uh, Kate, and my text editor. I think I'll go over here, and this is my desktop number two, and open up. Usually I press on the Windows key and K. This is my shortcut for, for Kitty, my text, my, uh, my terminal. And then I put in a sudo apt update enter my password what oh no that's not right i don't know what this is all out. So let me get out of that. Let's try this again. What did I do wrong? Let's do sudo app. Sudo. That's the strangest thing. It's never done that before. I don't know what that's all about. Huh. Anyway, I guess I'm going to not do that right now. Control C gets me out of that. And uh, I'll figure that out later because that's not what that's supposed to do. That's really weird. And uh, so that's Z shell. This is my uh, shell and I use Z shell. And, you know, and it's, I got my little, I like to look at this little translucent thing. You know, I like, this is the old fashioned one. You can click on this. You right click on it and sh click show alternatives and it will show you, you know, different alternatives that you can use for that. I, I like the old fashioned this is the new one, the application dashboard. This is the kind of recently the old one. But I like the really old one, this one right here. Now 
that's going to be totally different. I don't, want, I don't like that. I like this one. And then so it's, uh, you know, it's like this. And I can open up, uh, let's do Kden Live. Oh, and I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm just testing it out. This is a test. I'm learning. I'm trying to learn how to do this. This is the tool I'll be using to mix in, you know, the two diff the two videos. And I'll have to learn how to make one of them, you know, a video within a video. And it's going to be an interesting project. It's probably going to take weeks for me to learn how to do this. You know, and, uh, but anyway, it's really weird that that's like that. I wonder what would happen if I go vim, dot vim rc. What happens if I do that? So that looks normal. This is my vim, dot vim my settings for vim. It's, uh, you know, I got, here's my settings right here. And you can, uh, you know, there's a the whole thing, you know, I got my little, setting where you got the 74 line 74 and it's uh, you know and then here's my plugins you get and i use bundle which is the one that was most you know the best one when i first started back in 2004 and i've been using it ever since and it works just fine i know they have a little better you know a newer version but i haven't switched yet so, you know, it's just in my little settings. Another one is uh, to get out of this, I set, so I got this one setting, I want just for this one setting right here, map, uh, so that all, I don't have to press semicolon, I can just press semicolon, and that puts it down there on the, uh, there that line, and Q gets me out of Vim. Yeah. And the other one is uh, vim dot z shell rc. I can get over there and look at this, and I have a whole bunch of settings for that too. See, this one's shorter. And it's another thing I can go with uh, function f four brings up. Uh, that's called uh, uh, what is that called? It's called nerd tree. So my, I can see my files, you know. Edna is part of all this, the way I, the color scheme and everything, that's part of that. You know, I was using, making, you know, loading a bunch of st extra stuff on here to try to get this thing to look the way it does. I really like this, the way this is, is man, and I hate to have to update it. But it, you know, uh, upgrade Linux upgrades every six months, and then you know, or if you get the long-term support version, LTS version, it'll go for two years. Uh, the next time on twenty-one oh four, I'm gonna, or twenty-two oh four, I'm gonna do the long-term support because I don't want to do all this work getting this thing set up really nice and then have to change it all. Because once I do an upgrade, most of these changes are going to be gone. You know, my settings. That I've got to figure out a way to. Uh, another thing you got to do is uh, get out of there. Go list. There's my files. Um, you know, you got to figure out where you're. If you go. It's probably home. No, maybe put it just, uh oh, no. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so. Because that's another shortcoming. I got a bunch of shortcomings set up to where LL equals, you know, all I have to do is press LL to get the, it to list the long listing. And, um, 
it's in the new deal now. A L or how about L A? Now that shows my dot files, which is my hidden files. And in here, dot vim. You know, the one is the dot vim rc and the dot z shell rc are my two main setting files, but there's a lot of other ones. You go into dot um, go into dot config is going to have a whole bunch of different uh, setting files like the dot z shell and stuff like that and where you can set up your settings and you, you get that all set up to where it's you know, you can build yourself a nice little workstation here, you know, using Linux. And I like it, and it's beautiful. You know, I mean, look at this. Um, if you go to, uh, if you go control F4, it puts you on your uh, other page. And I can use, I can use Kate to write stories. And I can use Crusader to, as a visual filing system file system manager so it's just like I said it's an experiment let me uh, that one did not let, I wonder why I'll have to maybe I'll have to and then if I go control L that, that empties the screen so I can see start over Let's try sudo apt update. Wow, that is so weird because that's not what that's supposed to do. The only thing I can think of that I'm going to have to do on this is uh, start over. I'm going to have to shut everything down and restart from scratch. So. So I got that. Let's just do exit. And now we'll get out of this. KDN Live. KDN Live, I'll be using that a lot to make videos. I haven't used it so far. I haven't used it at all on these videos, but we'll see. We'll get there. All right, let's, let's, let's close it and see what we get.